Excuse me, beer. Um, so and, terrible. Yeah. <laughs> um. Welcome back, boys and girls and gender non-binary. We are back at the Green Monkey. I'm Taylor D. Adams, your host, and this is Drinking While Interviewing. Today, we have Jedediah Gant, media strategist and co-founder of New Raleigh. How are you? I'm well, yeah. yeah. It's been a busy few days. Mm -hmm. and I uh, just got back from a bachelor party this weekend, but I'm oh, okay. I'm recovering. I'm okay. good. Okay. Well, this might be a little hair Here's of the dog good. for yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Today we are drinking Mother Earth Brewing's Berliner Weiss. It's a nice light Cheers. beer. Let's check it out. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. Refreshing. That is very refreshing. I'm not a um, I'm in I'm indifferent with sours. Sometimes I feel like. It can be kind of like a spicy wing scenario, like how sour can you make your sure, beer, sure, how sour yeah. can you enjoy yeah. it. I feel like this is pretty refreshing, though, especially yeah. since we just, it's so hot outside, we had hail today. I don't drink a lot of beer, but when I do, I drink a sour or pale, and it's not too sour, it's, it's a little sweet. So you run the social media and news account, New Raleigh. It used to be a more formal blog, now it's just kind of strictly uh, yep. Instagram, Twitter, yep. all yep. that. Um, how did that come about? Uh, back in 2007, there weren't many, um, places to hang out in Raleigh um, and you know there weren't a lot of creatives here there were a few um, and so a friend of mine who was from my hometown he contacted me uh, saying a friend of ours was starting a blog based on uh, spreading news about all the new stuff in Raleigh um, a lot of the people were design had a lot of design background and so I was brought in as someone who would write about design and write about architecture because at the time I was in the architecture industry and then from there it just kind of blossomed of um, just me being very interested in the kind of urban environment. A lot of new businesses were popping up, Fayetteville Street was being, had been renovated and so a lot was happening and so I kind of just like kind of injected myself into everything that was going on and I think I started trying to figure out how to overlap these kind of digital media and design based ideas and from there I kind of created this kind of concept of digital urbanism because I'd read a lot of theorists that were kind of talking a lot about the future worlds and how cities have become these kind of smart digital meccas. I've tried to kind of balance projects like New Raleigh or Raleigh Murals Project or even Flight and Myriad Media as like one, they're, they, they come from one direction or the other. They either come from the built environment, like the Raleigh Murals Project, or they come from the digital environment, like Myriad Media and New Raleigh, and then they kind of overlap in the middle. I hear you're working on some kind of art, video, mural, festival project. It's called Optic. Is that correct? correct? Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Several months ago, me and a handful of other people were approached to create this idea of a mural festival in downtown Raleigh. Uh, the people that had the idea had come from another city and they had seen the kind of abundance of murals in those cities. They brought in a handful of folks in the kind of art design world and we started brainstorming. It took a lot of meetings because it's very bureaucratic. Um, it was coming from the kind of bureaucratic angle and so there were a handful of us coming from the kind of arts, kind of grassroots level and saying, Cool, yeah, that, that sounds like a great idea. Well, let's, let's turn it into something. And so rather than just create what a lot of cities have is just a mural festival, we've decided to add, like you were mentioning, video art, um, installation art, and we're kind of not necessarily branding it as a mural festival, more as just a public art festival. Mm -hmm. So basically, we have a call for walls that we're asking people to give us your walls. Um, you give us your walls too. Um, and basically we're, we're gonna, instead of, like with the Raleigh Murals Project, a lot of what I've done is help local artists pair up with local businesses and get murals on their walls. This is a bigger scale. This is getting the best of the best from around the world, five to 10 muralists to come here. A lot like Hopscotch, a lot like Moogfest, a lot like these big festivals and bring that talent here. With print media, digital media, should there be more of a sense of responsibility in this day and age, since press is apparently the enemy, to kind of take that responsibility and really counteract institutions that are trying, that are almost cracking down on free speech at this point? Yeah, I think there's there's several things to think about. There's like, I mean, here we're, you know, we're filming a video that we can edit and kind of, Turn into whatever we want, and you can. No, we're live. You can make Sorry. me. You can. Yeah, <laughs> you can make me say whatever you want me to say. I think the other aspect of social media, which is this kind of monster that today you can just 
you basically believe whatever you see and you don't check the sources. So I think that news media definitely has a, a responsibility to um, inform the public, educate the public, entertain the public, but the, the problem is they need to make money too. And so there's a lot of organizations trying either on social media or you know on, on the bigger scale of creating new websites with just completely untrue news. So I've had many conversations with people that say that like, what you're saying is not true. They're they're lying. And it's like no, that that is the truth. You're just not you're not ready to say it. And I think that's a lot of what's going on in the news media right now. Is a lot is coming out. They're like no, that's fake. It's like no, that's not fake. You're just not willing to admit it yet. <laughs> So I did a little research on you, Jed. Um, if this wasn't my uh, volunteer job, I'm not paid. Uh, it might be considered stalking, but apparently you have a pretty extensive record collection. Is that true? I do. What do you hear while you're drinking this beer? Um, well, it's a sour beer, so it is sour. Uh, so it has that kind of mellow, I don't know the, the kind of beer terms, but kind of like downturn in the flavor, mm -hmm. the, the sourness, right? Um, but this sour is a little sweeter than most sours that I have. So I think I hear this kind of slight conflict of like it's going down yet, you know, try, there's some perkiness in the, in the flavor as well. So it's a little sweet. I was thinking like Sade or like Gangs, if you know who Gangs is. Uh, because gangs, like, there's that weirdness to their music. Yeah. But, like, one minute it's, like, this kind of, it's a lot like Sade. And so it has that, like, 69 beats per minute. Yeah. Kind of mellow vibe. Mellow, or mellow vibe. But then there's these times where it goes on this really, like, <laughs> yeah. the saxophonist kind of goes off on mm -hmm. these tangents. What I picture drinking this beer is, I'm. it's a beautiful day outside. Yep. I figure I'm outside. I figure yeah. I might be, like, on a dock on a lake or something like yep. that. So, and listening to just some really chill tunes, I might go with maybe like some Otis Redding or something like that. Nice. Like, yeah, not yeah. necessarily because his tastes reflect this <clears throat> beer, yeah. because that's what I picture in my mind <laughs> when I'm drinking I was this. thinking Manu Chao, too. Do you know Manu Chao? I do not. Manu Chao is, uh, he's from Spain, mm -hmm. I think. It's kind of, he goes back and forth between like singing in Spanish, English, and French. Okay. Like, in one song, <laughs> but it's okay. like this, Kind of mellow, kind of beach vibe wow. as well. Right. Uh, Manu Chow is really awesome. Well, Jed, thank you so much for joining us on Drinking While Interviewing. My pleasure. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next time. Yeah, Cheers. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Cheers. Um, what do I have that's weird? I mean, I have some weird music, a lot of like electronic, kind of weird stuff mm -hmm. that's just kind of like soundscape mm -hmm. I put on, and you know, my kids and my wife are like, what the. Are you playing, you know? Um, all right, so we're going to kill me on the beer. <laughs> I don't drink beer fast. Well, you're doing all the talking. Yeah, 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 it's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true.